Installing a dimmer switch on a light is a pretty simple process. With the right tools in about 20 minutes, you'll have this DIY project done. Please note, this video is for installing a dimmer switch for a light that is controlled by two or three switches. The technical name for this is a three-way circuit. If your light is controlled by only one switch, or if you wish to install a dimmer switch for a ceiling fan, then please see our other videos specific to those projects. The tools you'll need for this project include a three-way dimmer switch, flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers, a small flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers that can strip a wire or separate wire strippers, voltage detector, and electrical tape. As with any electrical project, you must first turn off the circuit breaker that controls the area. Using a voltage detector, test the switches to make sure there are no live wires before continuing. Remove the plate and gently pull the switch away from the wall. Note that there are four wires attached to this switch. There is a green or bare copper wire, which is the ground wire, and three other wires attached to screws. Find the wire that is attached to a different color screw. Not the green or ground screw, but it could be a screw that is labeled common. Place a piece of electrical tape on this wire. It will help you in just a few minutes. Now disconnect all of the wires on your existing switch by loosening the screws and detaching the wires. You may need to use your small screwdriver for this step. Connect the green wire from the new dimmer switch to the green or bare copper wire from the wall. Put the wires together and cap them with a wire nut. Make sure you're doing this in a clockwise direction. Next, connect the black dimmer wire from the new switch to the common wire you have labeled with a piece of electrical tape. Again, secure the wires together with a wire nut, securing in a clockwise direction. Connect the remaining wires from the new switch to the remaining wires from the wall box in the same manner you've connected the other wires. Also, make sure you don't leave any bare wires exposed. If there are bare wires, make sure they are trimmed and capped with wire nuts. Once the wires are connected, push the entire switch back into the wall box. Realize that the new dimmer may be larger than the previous switch. Care must be used when installing the dimmer and wires into the box. Secure the new switch to the wall and attach the wall plate. Finally, turn your circuit breaker back on and test your dimmer switch. If you have any questions about this process, call Advantage Inspection Service at 602-864-8331.